Hello and welcome to Indie Attack with Woody and me, Kelson. Today we're playing. They came from Verminist. Verminest. I'm gonna go with Verminest. Verminest by Mr. M Local Melito, and this is Galaga with uh, shmup and kind of a asteroid. The spacey vibe. thing. You shoot guys in space. Only they're not guys. They're actually insect creatures. <laughs> they're insects, uh, and they shoot back at you. Yes. And they and they appear in increasingly complex patterns. Absolutely, lots of them populate the screen yes. after a certain point, and and objects will start to appear that will block and also block their bullets, also block your bullets. So also, that's a, you know you can run into them and kill yourself. That's also a very big point. Uh, uh, and the, I think the difference between Galaga, as far as I remember Galaga, is that and it's not just that they're com going down faster yeah. in the same pattern. They start flying towards yeah. you, and that's the kind of, like, uh, asteroid vibe of the, they'll fly down and then come back around the top yeah. and keep going and, and well, also yeah, shooting like at you. Yeah. yeah, you know. And they come in and try to pull, like, instant kill stuff. Right, and, and just crash it, just suicide yeah. bombing stuff, and these bugs. Um, yeah, and it's a lot of the same comments... I had about uh, Hydora I'm going to reply to this. I think this is my most... I have the most critical things to say about this one. I think yes. we're kind of on the same page there. Yeah. Um, I do think it's a, it's successful in a lot of his design goals, as all yes. of his games really do adhere to you gotta master this shit, it's hard. You yeah. know, but... This one really took the wind out of my sails. Yeah. Um, personally, because I feel I, I fought real hard to get through the first to get through the first boss and beat it, and then I got to the next the next level, you know. Yes. And it was the ramping was insane. The difficulty yes. just went to a million after I got through that first area, and it was just like. There was no and there was no checkpoint and I really felt like I earned that checkpoint you know and I and it, and it is you know I'm sure it is very much Galaga it's the one hit kill thing but man it it was just like I don't even want to it was hard enough to get here and then yeah. the difficulty was just overwhelming for me it's the kind of game where I can't really think of anything I think that is wrong with it no like I don't have any problems well, with yeah, it yeah yeah but at the same time. It doesn't really do enough interesting to catch me and pull me in, mm -hmm. especially as a shmup. Because yeah. Because this is a pretty common genre in your indie gamosphere. Yes. And there are a lot of games like this, and you really kind of need that catch yeah. to do something. And I just don't feel like there's necessarily a uniqueness here. But there's a lot with a lot of the other stuff. And it's kind of like the same thing I was saying last time. It's because as a shmup, you know, there's not level design here. Yes. That's not something you can rely on. And I think right. Orlando's good at level design. So. Yeah, no, he's super good at it. Yeah. Um, Castilla Maldita. Also, I think what that one did, even though the checkpoints were hard, at least it had infinite lives. You know, yeah. like you could keep going, even though it's like brutal. Whereas with this, it's like, God, you know, just yeah. that is, it's just, there's, there's a certain and level of punishment. It's, it's a bad combo of a game that is difficult enough like that. And then also not necessarily super original. Yes. Because you run into the thing where you, it doesn't hook you in enough to keep playing it to mm -hmm. the point where you're good enough to go through it. Definitely. Yeah. You know, it, 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 yeah, I really truly had that reaction of like feeling good. Like, man, okay, I'm getting good at this. And then it was like, no, I am not. You know, like <laughs> I have only just begun to crawl my way into contention, you know, and you know, I, I, I would say that my thoughts there are he, he, he just, his ramping was insane with this one yeah. and, and, and just, yeah, just unforgiving, and and like you said, the take is just we've been here before. I don't think Galaga is that fun, you know. It's like at least with like Hydora, it's fun for like f 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, and you can like you can get fun gameplay out of it, but it's not something I'd want to put a ton of time into. Yeah, and so it, maybe yeah. it's just that this isn't like our cup of tea. I think there's but... a part of that. I've never been a fan of that. Just that static pointing, point yeah. shoot. It, like Hydora, it, it, it's just like a more dynamic, you know, shmup. The side scrolling. And I is would just... agree. I do think Hydora. Yeah, of the of his two space shooter games, you know, I, I would I would say I would go that direction. Um, you know, uh, it, uh, all of the things that we usually say about just as far as this animation, the music, everything yeah. is, is rad always in his games, and so it's just you know, this is just not. I think we're on the same page. Not our preferred of, yeah. of the local Melito collection, um, but definitely 
you know, this week of looking at all of his games, I really hope this guy, like, gets a job doing this. Because <laughs> he's... He's good. He's really good. His team, his buddies that help him out, Well, like, and this is the kind of thing, too, where this is a relatively, like, obscure development thing. Because, like, before doing this, I haven't really seen a lot of stuff talking about Loco Bolito. Or no, like that, no, no, no. As a kind of indie developer or anything. This is the kind of thing that I want to see on Kickstarter and stuff like this. Because this is someone who has a proven track record of delivering good stuff. So yeah. This, you know, it's not some fly-by-night studio of people we've never heard before. Right, right. Like this is a guy who has made a lot of games and yeah. put them out. And, you know, this is the thing where if you make a Kickstarter page for this and says, hey, why are we going to give you money to make this game? Because I have, like, 15 free games on my site and they're all great. Yeah, exactly. So I think it'd be really easy for a local Medlito, like, you should pitch a Kickstarter thing and do that. Yeah, man. Because you have a really good library of work here that stands as proof you can actually make something. Even if it's just, like, a collection of traditional games as a, you know, like a pack, yeah, as a package, a you, you know? know? if Even, you know, do your own cart or something like that. I know, man. I mean, I think, like, his... Because he always, like we look, I mean, poster art, like yeah. game cartridge art. It's like if he start, if he were to do like more, like put these on custom cartridges yeah. and stuff, people would freaking eat it up. I think you know, uh, yeah, and make it put it at a reasonable price. You know, things like that could be so cool for him and like. I think he can still carry the torch and yeah. have his principles, and I just think he's independently, he has a career, I don't know, just the vibe I got, he's like, look, we do this in our spare time, you know, yeah. and it's like, and that's, and that, and he takes his time, you know, and, and I, and I, he just seems like a man of principle, dude, like, <laughs> like, so much, in every way, and I love that, but I think, like, I think it, it's, it's an instance where it's like, I think this, like, it's his calling, man, like, he's yeah. really good, and I want him to make... You know, I want to make see more. more stuff. Exactly. I want to see him more stuff, and I would pay to see that happen. Absolutely. So, you know, Mr. Local Molito, we, we, mad props, and, you know, like, don't Stirring stop. Stirring endorsement. Do not stop making games, please. <laughs> like, at the very least. And, but, and also, don't be afraid, because I think you could friggin' push it to greater, greater success, for sure. <laughs> A best, a bad, so, impassioned messages to Local Molito. <laughs> Alright. So that's Verminest, everybody. That's Verminest, and that was Local Molito Week. Um, and thank you. Go check him out. Check him out.